seven tips to improve your food and product photography. Right now, no extra gear, let's get cooking. Number one, lighting distance. Get closer to the lighting source, whether that be an actual light or in my case, a window. Number two, lighting angle. If you're taking a photo and the light was from behind you, you might have noticed that it looks a little flat. Instead, try side lighting it or try back lighting. Number three, white and black boards. This can be either foam core boards or it could be a plain piece of paper or some kind of cardboard or something, you know? As long as it's nice and white, for the black ones, it has to be like a matte black because otherwise you're gonna get into these, these reflection issues and uh, yeah, don't really want that. <laughs> so the white is perfect if you wanna go ahead and add a little bit of fill and if you wanna add more of that contrast, the dark moody look, definitely use the blackboard. Number four, tin foil. Yeah. This stuff. So tinfoil is another perfect alternative to a bounce board. So instead of having a white board, you'd have a piece of tinfoil. What you want to do with tinfoil is crumple it up a little bit, so that way you can get a nice diffused light as opposed to having a, a harder reflection. And number five, by the way, wax paper. So wax paper is perfect if you're taking photos on a sunny day with a harsh light coming in, but you want that softer shadows and you want the softer highlight. Just grab a sheet and you tape it onto your window and voila, instant diffuser. Number six, playing with shadows. And to be honest, this is actually one of my favorite ones and one that I use actually quite often. All you have to do is just kind of dig around your house and find things you want to add to create texture in the background. I mean, I've used a dish drying rack. I've used a cereal box. This is perfect. You just take an old cereal box, cut some slats in it, put it up against the window or your light source, and voila, now you have some instant shutter blinds. And another one that I love doing is grabbing a plant, like a fake plant, real plant, whatever you got. And I love these because it creates a little bit of depth and texture in the background. And last but not least, number seven, camera angle. Use an angle that works to tell your story the way you want it. If you wanna show off your ingredients, do a top down. If you wanna show some hype, like a stack of pancakes, then do a straight on shot. If you wanna do a little bit of both, you have the 45. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a thing or two. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. And while you're at it, subscribe with that notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos because I have plenty more content just like this coming up. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Stay curious.